with uh, education and a question is coming from uh, WMUR Facebook user Matt Pappas. He says several years ago, the legislature removed uh, school building aid from the state budget, leaving many struggling communities to pay the full cost of renovating and construction at old, decrepit, potentially unsafe schools is how he characterizes it. What will you do to help other uh, our communities to provide assistance when it comes to renovating and you know, making our school buildings safe? And we'll start with you, Councilor Van Oster. Well, school building aid, uh, as I think Councillor Sununu mentioned earlier in the evening, uh, there's a strong case to be made for bringing that back. But to be honest, we probably can't afford to do it at the levels that we were. Uh, sometimes the state would pay 50 or 60 percent of the cost of a local school building. Uh, and I think we need to make sure that we prioritize our education dollars on what will have the biggest impact. Um, I think that school building aid should be one of the things that's on the table, but we also need to make sure that we bring the funding for full day public kindergarten to every single community in the state of New Hampshire. That we do more to help uh, help our local school districts invest in uh, project-based learning, which allows them to replace half the standardized tests that students take, uh, and instead use more project-based learning, which will help the students get job skills that they can apply and learn how to use their education in the real world. I think we need to invest in programs like Running Start and Steam Ahead that allow high school students to start to earn college credit so they can bring down the cost of higher education. There's no better investment as a state than investing in our kids. All right, thank you, Councillor. So, uh, Councillor Sununu, school building aid to a high level, kind of an antiquated notion, do you agree? Uh, not antiquated at all. We absolutely have to restore school building aid funding. Um, I have a fifth and a sixth grader. I'm in my kids' classrooms. Um, and, and when you go into a classroom and we're in, a, let's call it a negative atmosphere where the windows are painted shut, where the hallways are dimly lit, uh, that's not a, a viable education environment for anybody. So to be able to put dollars forward, whether they're straight grants or matching funds for some of the local communities, especially up north. You know, people have to remember, we're a small state, but we're very geographically diverse. What's happening down on the seacoast is very different than Manchester or up in the north country or the White Mountains or even in the western part of the state. And there's real needs out there in terms of uh, school building aid, making sure that they have viable um, uh, facilities. I uh, visited a charter school very recently. I'm a very big proponent of school choice, a very big proponent of charter schools and making sure that anyone, any family, no matter where they want their kids to go to school, the parents have the final say in, in providing the best quality education. But charter schools are part of the public school system that again have a lot of trouble finding quality facilities sometimes. We have to make sure that we're reaching out to all the different aspects of our education system and making sure they're fully funded. 